So QNAP has joined the ranks of Fortinet and Cisco and many other uh, high-profile hardware vendors out there for having hard-coded backdoor credentials in their hardware. Uh, now, QNAP, as a company, we, we use them, and they have some really neat stuff for remote support where their people can SSH into your box to, to fix problems. Uh, and it uses dynamically generated passwords and certificates and expiring accounts. So, you know, they do follow good security practices for the most part. But this was in their hybrid backup software that would allow you to back up your, your QNAP NAS into a cloud location. Uh, that They just had some hard-coded credentials in there. And uh, they discovered it. We're not sure if anybody was able to actually take advantage of it prior to uh, their discovery and pushing an update. But... Uh, there was a study done, and I'm trying to remember who it was that did the study, uh, that showed that this one particular exploit uh, just in the month of, uh, well, actually, it was from March 21st through April 21st, they went from having like 30 reports of this particular type of malware on a QNAP all the way up to 353 submissions just in a 30-day period. So it looks like uh, you know, attackers had been taking advantage of this, using it as a vector to be able to get into the NAS. Now, if your NAS was not exposed to the internet, you weren't at risk because the attackers didn't have a way to get into it. But many people that use the cloud services would open up ports on their firewall, and that's where the weakness would come in. So uh, they have pushed an update. If you update the HPS, it will it'll remove the, the vulnerable pieces uh, and protect you. But you do need to uh, be aware that you may already have ransomware or malware on your system as a result. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.